Welcome to another uh, episode of Black and Blue. In this episode, we uh, we have titled what? I am Grogu. Yeah, Grogu's <laughs> right behind us. He's uh, he's making sure that uh, you know we do okay today. Mm -hmm, yeah, he's, mm -hmm. he's he's there to he, he he's there for support. Yep, he's cheering us Moral on. Moral support. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, I am Grogu. Well, <laughs> well, what, what does Grogu have to do with this? Really, nothing. <laughs> this is presence. <laughs> uh, now the word "I am" or the expression is gonna uh, mean mean something. Uh, we're gonna talk about uh, you know just identity and home and how the two mm -hmm. are related. Mm -hmm. And uh, certainly, Jesus wants us to find our true identity, who we truly are, mm -hmm. uh, not in the homes that we build, but in mm -hmm. the home that he has built for us. Mm -hmm. And we really see this play out in John chapter one with uh, the call of Philip. Mm -hmm. And then Philip gets so excited that uh, he's in a much larger home than, that, that, than he himself was trying to build. Mm -hmm. uh, he's in the home of God. And he gets so excited and he has to run and go tell his buddy Nathaniel. And so we're gonna start with uh, Philip first. Mm -hmm. And Jesus, you know, he just, uh, he decides to go to Galilee and uh, he, uh, he goes up to Philip and he says uh, just two words, follow me, follow me. It's really fascinating. Think about uh, just that expression, follow me. Uh, what our Lord is calling Philip to do is leave uh, uh, the teeny tiny uh, me of Philip. The mini me. The mini me. And, uh, you know, in all the ways that Philip tries to uh, define Philip, you know, mm -hmm. I am Philip. I am Philip the uh, the Jew. I am Philip the, the uh, kosher food lover. Yeah, the kosher food food lover. I am Philip. Uh, you know the fisherman. Mm -hmm. I am. I don't know if he was a fisherman, but there we go. Uh, he is from <laughs> Bethsaida, which uh -huh. uh, does mean house of fishermen. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, here Jesus is. Uh, he's really he's reeling in a big one, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Philip. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he's catching Philip. Um, and uh, and so uh, you know uh, Philip. Uh, I am Philip. You know the Detroit Lions fan. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. Uh, go Lions. Uh, I am not a, I'm not a Lions fan. And then my nose starts growing. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> it's already grown like quite a bit. Oh man. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, and so, so our Lord is calling Philip away from this, uh, this teeny tiny me of Philip mm -hmm. and all the ways that he tries to define himself in the home that he's building, uh, to, uh, the big me mm -hmm. of Jesus, mm -hmm. uh, into a much larger world, mm -hmm. God's world. Yeah. He's calling him into a home that is big enough for everyone in the mm -hmm. world. And, uh, and Jesus is the one who can truly tell Philip who he is and, and really tr truly tell us who we are mm -hmm. uh, because he is the I am, yeah. the great I am, which is like a, a big expression in the Gospel of John, of course. Uh, you have Jesus saying at least seven times, you know, I am. Mm -hmm. And then seven other times where he says, I am, you know, the good shepherd. I am the door. The door. I am the vine. Yeah. You know, seven is kind of a biblical number, right? I think so. I think so. And so Jesus is the I am who invites uh, Philip to, mm -hmm. to come dwell uh, with mm -hmm. and be a part of his home mm -hmm. so that Philip can actually say, oh, connected to, joined to the great I am. Now I truly know, or I'm beginning to know who I am. You see, you see, it's really great. You know, the, the, the little teeny tiny me connected to the big me, uh, he finally is beginning to see who who me is, yeah. <laughs> to use bad grammar. Oh, man. <laughs> Are you saying, yeah. like, now the vine knows what it's like to be connected? To, the branch knows there what it's it like is. to be connected to the vine? I love it, man. Yeah. All that organic <laughs> language in the Gospel of John. Yeah, I love yeah. it. And so, and so, so Philip is just so tickled pink. He's so excited that, you know, he's... He's discovering who he truly is. Yeah. He was trying to define who he was mm -hmm. by all these externals, mm -hmm. but now joined to the I am, he is discovering who Philip really is mm -hmm. in the house of God, the home yeah. of God. Yeah. And he knows it's big enough for everyone. And he wants everyone to know who they truly are connected to the I am mm -hmm. Jesus. And yeah. so he runs to Nathaniel. Nathaniel said, we have found the Messiah. Come and see. <laughs> Now, Come and see, because yeah. he's got a bigger <laughs> world, a bigger mansion than your tiny dorm room. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come and see, it's great. And uh, and but Nathaniel doesn't really want to go at first because uh, Jesus is from Nazareth, which is uh, Nowheresville. Nowheresville. <laughs> Uh, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Come on, come on, Philip, mm -hmm. get with the program. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, so Nathaniel ain't gonna budge. 
Now, Philip, you know, he doesn't argue with uh, Nathaniel. No, nope. he, he doesn't, doesn't get out his small catechism. Yeah, and, uh, you know, toss some, you know, Luther quotes at him. Mm-hmm. He doesn't become some Bible thumper and, you know, use the, the you know, the, uh, the the Bible as some kind of hammer. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know, and Nathaniel is, uh, is a nail and boom, 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 boom. Uh, he doesn't get offended, angry, yeah. upset. All he says is, come and see. Now, here's the problem. <laughs> See, Nathaniel and most of us, if not mm-hmm. all of us, we mm-hmm. want to see and then we will come. Maybe we will come. Yeah, it's got to be on our terms. Yeah. We want to control our coming. We want to know exactly what's ahead and, and what yeah. and what we're going to look like. Yeah. You know? I want to know the end product. Yeah, exactly. The and results. It, yeah, so we want, <laughs> we want to see first and then maybe, just maybe, we will mm-hmm. come. And, mm-hmm. that's, and, and that's really Nathaniel. It's all of us. You know, and that's why we, we, we spend so much of our time trying to uh, build and construct our own identity mm-hmm. with, you know, uh, just, uh, you know, the clothes we wear, the hobbies we have, the yeah. friends we, we make. Mm-hmm. Um, so, so I am Aaron, the runner. I'm Aaron, the, the chef. I, I love cooking. I am he Aaron, uh, the, uh, the guy who likes to read books. Uh, <laughs> I'm Micah, the knitter. Uh, I'm Micah, the crocheter, the painter. Yeah. Yeah, but see that that teeny tiny me, mm-hmm. uh, you know, it's it's just you know, and the stuff I try to to define myself with, all that stuff's passing away. Mm-hmm. It's you not know, and, last. and so the house I'm trying to build is a house of cards. It's gonna fall down. Mm-hmm. And so so Jesus, you know, he says to me, he says to Philip, says to Deacon, says mm-hmm. to you, follow me. Yeah. And uh, and and you know, this is essentially what uh, you know Philip is saying to Nathaniel. Here's this one who says, follow me, come and see him. You know, leave your little world, Nathaniel, mm-hmm. you know, where you're trying to, you know, be in control mm-hmm. in the driver's seat yeah. uh, with, 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 with what you want to, 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 to look like and become. Mm-hmm. Uh, there is one who uh, he, uh, he, he, he knows in his mind, mm-hmm. you know, the final product mm-hmm. from the, from, from before the foundation of the world, right. he has, he has actually decided what, what Nathaniel's going to look like mm-hmm. and he's going to mm-hmm. get you there. And that Nathaniel's even better it's, than yeah. what it's your true Nathaniel self. could have could have even dreamed of. Yeah, it, yeah, and it's, it, and it's a true self. <laughs> yes, everything else is kind of like a false self. Like here's yeah. his true self, like you know who the I am wants to make you into. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And so, so come and see. Uh, you know, it's, it's like you know, it, it's that step in faith, really. Yeah, you it's know? into the unknown. Yeah, I mean, because Nathaniel and we all want to walk by sight and not by faith. You know, mm-hmm. we want we want to have in our mind a picture of who we can mm-hmm. become. And no, 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 no. Mm-hmm. Uh, what our Lord is is uh, is doing through Philip is is, is saying, no, come and see. Mm-hmm. You know, take that step. Yeah. Uh, you know, and uh, and come and and be with me, mm-hmm. and uh, and you will see what mm-hmm. uh, what I will make you. Yeah. It's like being with Jesus changes everything. It changes everything. Absolutely. Yeah. And so Nathaniel does actually start uh, going to Jesus. And Jesus saw Nathaniel coming toward him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed in whom there is no deceit. Notice Jesus sees Nathaniel first. Mm-hmm. It's always been that way. Yeah. Yeah. We see because he first saw us. Yeah. And that's what, and that's what actually Nathaniel starts to learn here. Nathaniel mm-hmm. said to Jesus, How do you know me? Jesus answered him, before Philip called you when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. I saw you. Mm-hmm. And he saw him before the fig tree. He saw him, you know, uh, before his before he was a, a twinkle in his parents' eyes. Uh, he saw uh, Nathaniel before the foundation of the world. Yeah. And now uh, Nathaniel, he sees this one who has seen him all life long. Mm-hmm. And, and he just, he, I mean, he's just, he, he's filled with joy. Yeah. Uh, he has, you know, he has this holy spirited faith, and he realizes this is not just a man. Here's the God man, and what is his confession? You are the Christ, the You're Son of God. God, the King of Israel. It's right there, Deacon. It's yes, right in the it Bible. Is. You can cheat. It's okay. <laughs> I like looking at my Bible. Uh, that you are, you are, you are the King of Israel, the Son of God. Yes. Yeah, and, and then Jesus, he says, what? Because I like said to you, I saw you under the fig tree. Do you believe? You will see greater things than this, than these. And what is he talking about there, Deacon? It's the greater things. Oh, it's you yeah. singular, meaning yeah. just, you know, just uh, Nathaniel here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'll see greater things. The, the things that I'm doing uh, all through my ministry with being with me. Um, but he doesn't really unpack what it is. 
is really Nathaniel's going to have to uh, come with Jesus and he'll see all, along the way. He'll have to believe. Has he arrived yet? No. That's what I'm getting at. Yes. So unpack that. <laughs> the greater oh, things. The greater things. More is yet to come. Yeah, he hasn't arrived yet. He's yeah. not a final product. Uh-huh. He has yellow construction tape all over him. I do too. <laughs> you do too, Deaconess. Mm-hmm. Yeah, just because he's seen, he started to see, doesn't yeah. mean he's gotten to see the whole picture. There's a few more rooms in this mansion. <laughs> and, and you know, hunkering down, dwelling with uh, Jesus, mm-hmm. yeah, is going to help him see the greater things, meaning the unfolding of who Nathaniel is. Mm-hmm. You know, being with this I am Jesus, he's going to really discover who he truly is yeah. more and more and more and more and more. Uh, so it's an adventure, really, a journey. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. The, the process of becoming. Um, anyone who says that, you know, uh, they have arrived, that's a flat, their nose will grow. It'll get very long. They're, be, they're being a liar, liar, pants on fire, liar. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Jesus really brings us home to this idea of home uh, when he says, at the end here in verse 51 of John chapter 1, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the Son of Man. And, you know, you're like, what in the world is, like, uh, did Jesus just change the topic? No, he actually is talking about home. Mm-hmm. Explain why, Deaconess. Right. Well, I mean, he's going back to uh, Jacob. The father of Israel is uh, um, fleeing from his brother Esau, and he's out on the road and goes and goes to sleep one night. Yeah, he's just a rock for a pillow, right? I know, super comfy. Yeah, my pillow wasn't around, apparently. <laughs> nope, it wasn't. Yeah, and in the dream, he sees um, a ladder yeah. reaching from earth to heaven, and there's angels ascending and descending. And, um, and who is standing at the, at the base of that ladder? Yeah. Who, who's our standing? Lord. Our Lord! Now, our English <laughs> translation says that the Lord is at the top, but, but you'll see a footnote in a lot of our Bibles. Actually, you can mm-hmm. translate the Hebrew... That he's standing actually on earth. And that's, yeah. a, that's a better way to see this picture. Yeah. Because then it makes more sense. He, here is the Lord right here in the flesh that was standing at the base of Jacob's ladder. Mm-hmm. Standing right? with Jacob. Standing with Jacob. And yeah. then Jacob wakes up. You know, he, he rubs his eyes. And what does he say? He's like, God was here. Well, how... Wait, this is Bethel, the house of God. Yeah. How great is this place? Yes. This is Bethel, the house of God, the gate of heaven. Mm-hmm. The gate of heaven. And uh, and so and so uh, so Jacob, he realized that, that he's in the house of God. of God. No matter where he goes, God is with him mm-hmm. and he is with God. Mm-hmm. And uh, and even the name he's given Israel means seeing God, right? And so so he's actually gonna spend his whole life um, just basking in uh, just in the presence of this God who sees him mm-hmm. and that he can see. And, and, be, and with, that, with, that, with that seeing going both ways, he will learn more and more what it means to be Jacob. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The Jacob that God intended from before the foundation of the world. Right. Yeah. And the same with us. That, uh, that, that you know, all of us, we get to, to rejoice uh, just like Jacob did and say, mm-hmm. how amazing is this place? This is Bethel, the house of God. The gate of heaven. Now, sadly, I think, you know, we've often put such an emphasis on the, divi- on the divine service that, mm-hmm. that we only see Jesus like there. Like, it's kind of like we lock him up in the divine service. Mm-hmm. Have we forgotten that, you know, there's the omnipresence of God? Mm-hmm. I think that, I think we need to actually, like, really talk about that a bit more. Mm-hmm. Like, God actually is everywhere. And I understand that, yes, we go to divine service and we receive the goods through words, water, bread, and wine. The salvation goodies that he, he purchased and won for us at the mm-hmm. cross, he delivers uh, in, in, you know, into our mm-hmm. ears, into our mouths that, you know, he washes us with, you know, in the divine service. But when I leave divine service, I don't leave Jesus. Right. I, I, That's what your baptism has already yeah. told you. You've been wrapped up in Jesus. You have God's name on your forehead and on your heart. Um, it's all holy ground now. It really is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when I leave the house of God, did, did, did I really leave the house of God? Uh-huh. I mean, actually, no, because God, Jesus is Emmanuel, I thought. Mm-hmm. God with us, God mm-hmm. for us, God on our side. Yep. Uh, didn't Jesus say uh, at the end of Gospel of Matthew, I am with you always. always. And so what a joy to know I, that I am with this God who sees me. Mm-hmm. Warts and all. Yeah. And he sees not just who I am now, but who I am going to become. Right. He sees you always with delight, not a yeah. critical eye, not a Santa Claus, you know, seeing when you're sleeping and knows when you're awake, all of that, seeing if you've been bad or good, but seeing you with 
delight, with love, just going, oh, I'm excited how you're growing, how you're becoming the the man, the woman that I created you to be, Mm -hmm. how you're learning, how you're going to school, you know, fill in the blank, growing as a basketball player or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so Aaron connected to the I am, living it up in this I am's home. Mm -hmm. I am learning who I am truly Mm -hmm. more and more, more and more. And same with you. Same with with you. Yeah. Uh, I get to discover who I am because I'm with Jesus, the I am. And and, and the person Jesus is making me uh, as I dwell in his home and and hunger down there, Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that Aaron is going to be far better than any Aaron that I could ever come up with in my mind. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You can't dream it up as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so it gives me patience with Aaron. <laughs> you know, I, I'm in the process of becoming, uh-huh. I pray that I pray you have patience with yourself, you know, give yourself some grace, you know, mm-hmm. you're growing mm-hmm. uh, and going as you, uh, you know, dwell with this Jesus who is the great I am. Mm-hmm. Uh, and in dwelling with him, you are, you're becoming the man, the woman that he created you, uh, to be. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It's beautiful. It you know? is. So, so one day joy. that uh, yellow construction tape will be taken off of us mm-hmm. in the resurrection. And we're just going <laughs> to delight in, you know, the people that God, uh, created us to be. Mm-hmm. And in the process, uh, that, uh, was involved, mm-hmm. we're going we're to see his hand in all of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All the bumps along the road, he was using it to actually shape yeah. us into uh, the yeah. beautiful man and beautiful uh, woman that he's created us to be. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. By his uh, stripes, we are healed. Yep. Until next time. Toodles.